In this video, we're going to have a look at bar charts and the sort of questions we could expect at National 5 numeracy level. So the bar chart shows information about the amount of time in minutes that Andrew and Karen spent watching television on four days last week. So Karen is in yellow and Andrew is in pink. How many minutes did Karen spend watching television on Thursday? Okay, so we need to go to Thursday and Karen is in yellow. So Karen spent 20 is that minutes? Yes, it is 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Karen spent more time watching television than Andrew on two of these four days. Write down these two days. So she spent more time on Wednesday and on Friday because the yellow bar is bigger than the pink bar on those days. Wednesday and Friday. Work out who spent more time watching TV over the four days. So who have we got? We've got we've got Karen and Andrew. So we're just going to need to add up the number of minutes that they watched each day. So on Wednesday, we need to figure out the scale, what we're going up in. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 boxes to get to 20. That means each box is 2. So 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. So on Wednesday, it was 34. On Thursday, we already said it was 20. On Friday, she watched a bit more. So what's that? 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74 minutes. And finally, on the Saturday, it is 82, 84, 86, 88, 90. It's not 92, it's in the middle, so it's going to be 91 minutes. So 34 plus 20 plus 74 plus 91. So altogether, Karen watched 219 minutes across these four days. We just need to do the same now for Andrew. So what did Andrew do? So on Wednesday, Andrew watched 20 minutes and on Thursday he watched 42, 44, 46, 48. 50 minutes, so 20 plus 50. We'll zoom back out again. And then on Friday, he watched 60 minutes. And on Saturday, he watched 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96. So it was 60 on Friday and 96. on this Saturday. So all together, 20 plus 50 plus 60 plus 96 is 226 minutes. So work at who's um, spent more time watching more television. We'll see. Andrew spent more time watching television. Since, so we've answered the question, we need a numerical comparison, since 226 mins is bigger than 219 mins. Okay. Uh, okay, second question. Okay, it's on its side this time. This, the chart gives information about councillors elected to Stockport Council in 2006 and 2007. It shows the number of councillors elected in each of these, in each of the political groups. Okay, so green is 2006, orange is 2007. Write down the name of the political group with the highest number of councillors elected in 2006. So, 2006 is green, so name the group that had the highest in 2006. So that's going to be the Liberals. Write down the names of the two political groups with one less councillor being elected 
in 2007 than in 2006. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Labour. Because we need to figure out the scale. So it looks like there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 boxes to get to 5, so that means each box represents a half. So here we've lost two boxes, which is 1. So the Independent lost one seat, and Labour also lost one seat. We'll say Labour and Independent. Pendant, dependent, as independent, dependent. Work out the total number of councils elected in 2006 and 2007. Go to 2006. So, once again, we need to know the scale. Okay, so we've got, for 2006, it's 21, 22, 23, 24, so it's 24, then 15, then what's that, so this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Yep. And four. We'll do the same for 2007. This is taking a wee bit of time here, maybe a bit lengthy. So in 2007, the independents get three seats. The Conservatives got 11, 12, 13 seats. Labour got 14 seats and finally the Liberals got 21, 22 seats. 22 seats. So we can add these together. 3 plus 13 plus 14 plus 22 is 52. 24 plus 15 plus 9 plus 4 is 52. Oh. Use the chart to comment to comment on the changes to the political groups in Stockport over these two years. Okay, so the same number of councillors were elected in both years. So comment on what's happened. So from 2006 to 2007, We can see, use the chart to comment on the changes to the political groups in Stockport over these two years. So hopefully you can see that the Liberal Party lost seats, the Labour Party lost seats, the Conservative Party gained seats and the Independents lost seats. So over these two years, the Liberal Party, Liberal, Labour, and independent, independent parties lost seats from 2006 to 2007, whilst the Conservatives, whilst the Conservative Party Conservative Party gained seats from 2006 to 2007. Okay, last example. The bar graph shows the number of medals won by Scotland at the Commonwealth Games since 1986. In which year were the most gold medals won by Scotland? So gold is black, so where is the biggest portion of black? 
So it's either 2006, 2010. Each little bar represents 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 11 in 2006. And here, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So they won the most gold in 2006. How many silver medals did Scotland win in 1990? So look at 1990. So silver is white. Once again, the scale is going up in twos. So they won two, four, six. So they won seven silver medals in 1990. Hopefully that's a good starting point. And um, that will help you start to try and uh, comprehend what's going on with bar charts at National 5 numeracy level. Thank you very much.